Well, thank you very much for giving us your morning hour here. Um, this is our Law Talk panel. Uh, we're very excited to have three distinguished members of the uh, law firm community uh, here in the UK. And so uh, the goal of this morning, very simply, is to talk about trends, things that you guys are facing today, things that we realize we may be facing in the future, to have an open dialogue conversation about that. Um, and then as we move through the day, uh, the idea here is, is that you'll be able to ask questions if there are subjects that you know, kind of pique your interest. Um, if you have opposing views um, based on Brexit, I think you are all about opposing <laughs> views right now, right? So there you go. So we'll keep with the spirit of that and we'll have uh, as much dialogue as is possibly needed. So I thought the best way for us to get started this morning is I'll let the panelists kind of introduce themselves, um, how long they basically have been working in the legal industry, if there's any other relevant information that you would like to share. And Colin, I'll let you uh, start us off, please. Thanks very much, Chris. Uh, Colin Wardale, I'm the finance director at Hill Dickinson. Um, I've already been described this morning as a veteran of the legal industry. Having joined Adelshaw Booth, or Adelshaw, uh, Adelshaw Sons and Latham, as it then was, back in 92. So I guess I'm old enough to remember Richard Susskind's first book. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Karen Jacks, IT Director, Bird and Bird. Um, I've been with uh, Bird and Bird for 16 years. Uh, quite a different firm. It was a London firm with a couple of offices overseas when I joined, and now we're 28 offices globally. So I'm Nick West. I am uh, Chief Strategy Officer at Mishkondorea. I've only been there six months, uh, but I've been in the legal industry pretty much all my career. I, I started as a lawyer at Linklaters back in the late 90s, and uh, with a little trip into strategy consulting, I've broadly been in and around the, the, the legal industry, but, but this is the first time back in a law firm since, uh, since all those years ago, so it's very interesting. That's good. Welcome back. By Thank the way. you very so, much. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so we, we thought we'd get this started since Adron is a technology question. Obviously, I have to get technology on the table first. So this will be for all the panelists. So in your best guesstimate in your mind, how do you see technology having kind of a significant impact on strategic direction of the firms, both now and into the future? Colin? Is that me? OK. Um, I think that one of the key issues for all law firms in the implementation of a strategy will be the connectivity of clients to our businesses. I think anything that can be implemented through technology which will develop process embedment, client engagement with our business and our people will be a really key driver of the implementation of strategy. So I don't see that technology on its own is the answer to that. I think that really key issue for all law firms is actually the implementation of that technology and particularly the key specialisms around change management and transformation and bringing people along to deliver the, the benefits that technology can bring. But I think at the core of it, for me, is anything that can connect clients to our people is, is a key issue for That's us. That's very good. Um, I see it less than the actual technology, but more in how we deploy and use it. Um, I think we've, we've all spent many years with systems that we've spent many years knitting together and integrating and great for, for that user experience but from a um, being able to upgrade those and move those forward is such a challenge now um, so where where i think we need to be going is fine using that technology but taking it in you know being much more agile in how we develop and deploy and start breaking down some of the uh, core systems we have into smaller modules and more app-like. You know, you just need to do one small element of a large system when you're on the move, then we need to start uh, looking at how we can develop ways of, of doing that rather than delivering the entire product to every person. Oh, that's really good. Okay. So I, for me, I think it's, I, I think about a slightly more macro picture. I mean, the, the, the world around us, you know, we, we are a law firm, we are law firms, they you know, we fit into the business sort of ecosystem uh, and, uh, and the world around us at large is being, uh, you know, the, the rapid acceleration of, of technology and, and adoption of technology in the world around us. I, we all obviously know that. I mean, it's so fast. It's so exciting. Uh, whether you want to label it like Davos and the sort of uh, fourth industrial revolution or the second machine age or whatever label you want to put on it, <laughs> stuff is happening in the big wide world. And we clearly are not immune to that as a legal industry and as law firms. And I think sometimes we forget that. I think, I think sometimes we, 
forget that our clients, whoever they may be, individuals or corporations, their worlds are rapidly changing with technology. Uh, you know, the, with the power that we have at our fingertips and our mobile devices and the, the, the behaviors that we've just becoming totally used to. I, if I want up to the minute information about my train, the weather, what's, you know, the, the shadow cabinet or the, the cabinet announcement, <laughs> I get it. I get it there and then. If I buy a parcel on Amazon, you know, I get told immediately it's been bought, immediately it's, it's out for delivery, it's with my neighbor, whatever it is. It's our entire expectations have changed um, and, and we have to be able to uh, sort of replicate that appropriately for the services we provide, but it's a long way from the kind of historical, uh, the, you know, historical way that we have provided services to clients. And I think you have to then go on to more technical questions like what stack or tech stack do you want to deliver that? But yeah, I think that's a second order question. You have to understand the bigger picture first.